what is your worst podcasting habit? I bet I know what it is because they're bad habits that we all kind of start off with. Now, note that I said podcasting habit and not actual habit. Trust me, we don't need to get too deep into that rabbit hole, especially when my mom could find this video. Mom, if you're watching this video, I promise that this is my job and I am not fooling around. Anyways, podcasting bad habits. We all start off with them and we all gotta break them. First off, rambling. We all jumped right in front of a mic and started rambling away without worry or care. We have thoughts to share, dang it. Hey, that almost rhymed. But when we dive in like that, we're liable to ramble and lose track of our main thought. This is also where filler words and long silences come in. Your next bad habit? Forgetting to breathe. I know, weird, right? But trust me, when you're not used to public speaking or speaking with the intent of being heard, we get nervous. And when you get nervous, you forget how to breathe. Or because we've got so many thoughts to try to get out, like within a very short, finite amount of time, we try to cram it all in one breath and then end up breathing in really weird spaces. Trust me. I'm pretty sure that those who have seen me at Podcast Movement know what I'm talking about. The solution for all of these? Warming up. Flex your vocal cords. Take some deep breaths. Practice what you want to say before you say it. Muscle memory can be a hell of a thing if you've got stage fright. Or mic fright, I guess. Is it still stage fright if there's nobody there to witness you? That's a question. So what's your worst podcasting habit? Please don't be weird. <laughs>